Jackass Forever is finally here, but which stunts are the cream of the crop and which ones are cringe? Here's the best and the worst the film has to offer. The opening scene of every Jackass movie has always been a truly insane theatrical spectacle, but Jackass Forever makes its own mini-monster movie to kick things off. It's set in a city where most of the cast are milling around when a kaiju attacks. Well, sort of. Of course, like any good monster flick, a number of these fine citizens get thrown around like ragdolls. Whether it's an exploding cinema that hurls Wee Man and Dave England in the air or Steve-O getting locked in a port loo it's a wild introduction. To say any more would ruin the brilliant absurdity of the whole thing. The Spider Bowl is just pure nightmare fuel no matter how you look at it. The premise is simple. Danger Aaron and Compton Dark Shark Wilson sit opposite each other with their heads in helmets that are connected by a tube, and they have to blow a tarantula into the other person's helmet. Terrifying. This one adds a sinister level to the carnage because it's a type of stunt that forces the audience to imagine themselves in the situation. And yes, the same can be said for many jackass stunts, but this one just feels a lot more intense. Especially when Knoxville makes a point of showing off the tarantula's fangs up close, which is a heck of a thing to see on the big screen. Arachnophobes will not have a good time with this one. Jeff Tremaine and the Jackass crew have always enjoyed designing elaborate gags wherein the cast members think they're doing one thing, but really it's something much, much worse. One such prank is the snake room trick. They're each led into a room, shown a barrel that holds a deadly rattlesnake, also noting that they'll need anti-venom if it bites them before the light goes off and they're left in the dark. What they don't know is that the barrels are swapped out and there is no snake, just a sneaky Johnny Knoxville who lurks in the room with a pair of night vision goggles. It's a type of childish fun that has always made Jackass great, as the impish Knoxville teases his friends by throwing rubber snakes at them and generally attacking them while they can't see. It only escalates when they think they found an exit door away from the snake room, only to find themselves in another dark room full of mousetraps and thumbtacks. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what happens next. The only major problem Jackass Forever has is the way it relies on riling up different animals and insects to get a laugh out of the audience. Sure, watching Danger Aaron get trapped in a room with a bear as he's covered in honey and meat is hilarious, but it also feels incredibly mean toward the bear. The idea is to tease the bear into eating the food off of Aaron, while hoping to scare the man half to death. It's not exactly the same as forcing the bear to dance, but it's not far off. The same can also be said for the tarantula in the spider bowl. It's getting blown through a tube between two human beings which are considerably larger than it. Of course it's going to get angry. There's also a vulture that pecks at Wee Man's meat-covered crotch. Again, it's incredibly easy to laugh at, but it does make you feel a little sorry for the giant bird. It's worth noting that the animals always get the last laugh when it comes to these kind of stunts, since they all get to peck, bite, scratch, or headbutt the jackass boys and girls without hesitation. Sure, the gang of pranksters thrive off of torturing one another in varying degrees of insanity, but it's weirdly wholesome. They embody that teenage sense of rebellion as they find fun in doing stupid things simply because they can and because they're funny. It's genuinely joyful to see them pull off moments like an underwater fart explosion, because as ridiculous and painful as some of the pranks and stunts are, they're all in it together. On the other side of the screen, Jackass Forever is the type of movie that truly unites the audience. Because every time someone slams into the ground after leaping from a ramp or someone gets hit in the crotch for the millionth time, the collective wince and guffaw brings everyone together. You heard it here first, Jackass Forever is one of the most wholesome movies of 2022. One concerning moment in Jackass Forever comes when Johnny Knoxville once again gets in the ring with a bull. He's done the stunt several times before, but the one in the fourth movie is no laughing matter. The performer is dressed as a magician when the bull just plows through him, sending Knoxville high into the air. Upon landing, the star breaks his wrist, a rib, and also gets a severe concussion. It's painful to watch, but it's made worse by Knoxville's comments on the press tour for the movie. Knoxville opened up about the stunt on Howard Stern's radio show. Yeah, I got a brain hemorrhage from that. So my cognitive abilities were in steep decline after that hit. He added, I got really depressed and over-focused on things. I did have to start medication for the first time in my life. So it's hard to find the joy in seeing the bull throw him in the air, knowing that the ramifications of the scene were pretty severe. If this film has taught us anything, it's don't try this at home, kids. Even if you do have a lovable group of rogues around you. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.